We live in a world where living things just seem to want to attack and bite and sting and kill us. Now, sometimes those bites just itch a little bit. Other times they make you swell and scream in agony. So stay with us and be prepared to face the cruel world of merciless killers. Of course, not every animal can kill a human, but a stonefish isn't just some regular species, because it's the world's deadliest, most venomous fish of all. Its sting can kill you. As you can see, stonefish is all covered in tubercles, and that's how it's got its name. It's got fins at the back, and on those fins there are 12 poisonous spikes. The toxin that this fish produces can cause shock, paralysis, death of body tissue. Generally, people die within two or three hours. And the scary part is that these fish sometimes get brought ashore. According to people who were unfortunate enough to get in trouble with this fish, the pain is so severe that they ask to amputate their legs to make it stop. This video shows us how this fish sprinkles its venom. So if you go to Australia, watch your step. These guys often hide in sand and pretend to be stones. Now mind you, this fish can remain alive for about 24 hours after it's pulled out of water. Bullet ant, or Parapanera clavata, as they also call it, can be found in rainforests. Typically, they have a body length of about 0.7 to 1.2 inches. The main feature of these ants is their venom a deadly poison that can put you in pain. They sometimes compare bullet ant sting with a rubber bullet shot. That's how unbearably painful it is. And the pain typically lasts for about 24 hours. According to Schmidt's Sting Pain Index, bullet ant has the strongest one among insects. Here's an interesting fact. Indigenous tribes in South America make young men stand the pain for 10 minutes. They get sting 20 times in a row as part of the initiation ritual. But even though the pain is almost unbearable, they're not deadly. Although psychological trauma is possible. We know that Australia is full of dangerous deadly animals. And even though a platypus might seem harmless to you and you might even think it's cute, don't let it fool you. They are not what they seem. These fellas sure know how to protect themselves against predators. Male platypus have horny spurs that can make you feel terrible. In fact, it can totally knock out a fully grown human. Also, the pain can last for a very long while and even bring you to a state known as hyperalgesia, which makes you hypersensitive. Sometimes pain can last for months, believe it or not. How's that for a platypus? Male platypus use their deadly weapon during mating season and to protect themselves from larger predators. Their poison contains over 80 toxins and is very similar to those found in other animals like snakes, lizards and sea stars. Now get this, a platypus bite can kill a dingo. Bet you guys didn't know that. These massive wasps are not predators per se, but they are kind of insatiable. They sometimes hunt tarantulas, and since those are hard to get at times, the wasps have a very potent type of venom. Schmidt's Sting Pain Index puts these wasps second on the list. Now since these guys are not predators, you might be wondering why they attack tarantulas. Well, let's just say it's not for the sake of food. They have other reasons. A female tarantula hawk wasp paralyzes spiders and then lays eggs in them. The venom has a very strong effect on spiders, and it lasts for a long time. Over this period, a larvae appears and it starts to feed on the spider from the inside, while the spider is still alive and can't do anything about it. So this way, hawk wasps kill tarantulas only for procreational purposes. As for their diet, they eat nectar. Usually these wasps can be found in the US and Mexico, but sometimes in the northern parts of South America as well. Gila monster is a kind of lizard that lives in North America. They can do a lot of harm and their neurotoxic poison is only a part of a problem. 
They have curved sort of teeth. It is through these teeth the venom gets into your body, and is so strong that every third person dies of it. Even big animals like bulls and buffaloes and deer can't stand a bite of a Gila monster. They have pretty strong bite force that allows them to inject venom in the bodies of their enemies. Unfortunately, these guys are quite harmless to humans, if not disturbed. You can find them in shrub steep areas, deserts, and oak forests where they seek refuge in burrows, under rocks, and places where they have access to water. And they typically try to avoid appearing on flat land and places where humans reside. Giant water bug can kill a man. In fact, it's almost harmless. It only fights back when you try to catch it. But their bite is kinda harsh still, and if you know what bee stings like, well, water bug's bite is probably two times more painful. But usually water bugs hit your arms and legs. Their bites make your skin red and a little bit swollen. And the swelling lasts for about a week or so. In Thailand, they just love eating these bugs. It's like they are kind of a delicacy over there. Usually they fry them and they taste something like chicken and shrimp. Also they use them to make certain kinds of soy sauce. Arizona Bark Scorpion. Beautiful and deadly. A lot of people dread this creature. Other people find it gross and repulsive. Either way, this nocturnal predator can make you feel pain. They dwell in North America and their venom put you in tremendous agony that can even make you start foaming. It can cause breathing problems and give you muscle cramps. Also, it can pretty much paralyze you. But even though it can hardly kill you, the pain can sometimes last for 72 hours. It's important to remember that if you get bitten by an Arizona bark scorpion, you should get help right away. A victim should try to remain calm and sedatives and alcohol are prohibited. To prevent the poison from spreading around the body, the bite should be squeezed and some ice must be applied. So bark scorpions are kind of dangerous and it's best to avoid them. Black Widow is definitely one of the most popular kinds of spiders in the world. They sound menacing, that's for sure, but they also bite hard. It's interesting that smaller species can't actually do you a lot of harm, but if you get bitten by a fully grown black widow, then get ready to feel some serious pain. Their bite can lead to a state known as latridicism. It's a kind of state characterized by constant muscle contractions and it ain't pretty. Cone snails can be found in coastal waters of Australia. They hunt during the night. And the way they do it is they shoot a, a kind of dart at their victim from a distance of about one meter. It's their defense mechanism. And if you touch their shell, they will surely try to get you. And their sting can actually make you faint and it makes you feel numb. Then it can even lead to cardiovascular system paralysis. According to statistics, every third cone snail sting causes death. And people only have themselves to blame. They always get attracted by the beauty of the mollusks. And they often regret that afterwards. It might sound surprising to you, but the box jellyfish is one of the most frightening things an ocean has ever produced. Even sharks are not that much of a threat to these tiny creatures. Their venom is so incredibly toxic that they call it the deadliest in the entire world. And the thing is, you almost can't see them. They're so small. Caranex flaccari are extremely dangerous and they don't call them the deadliest creatures in the world for no reason. A box jellyfish can kill more humans than all stonefish, sharks and crocodiles combined. Their tentacles are very long and the more it gets applied to your bare skin, the more probable it is that you'll die. One box jellyfish carries enough venom to kill 60 grown men at a time. So it's like if you're swimming and you get in contact with the box jellyfish, then if it doesn't kill you, it will most likely make you drown because of the, the severest shock you'll experience. Alright guys, thanks for watching, hope this was fun and interesting. Press thumbs up and subscribe if you like Real Bizarre. See you later.